Hello, and welcome to EV Cars. When it comes to buying an electric vehicle, many consumers might like the idea, but they sometimes balk at the purchase price, which is typically higher than that of an equivalent gasoline-powered vehicle. However, new research from Consumer Reports shows that when total ownership cost is considered, including such factors as purchase price, fueling costs, and maintenance expenses, EVs come out ahead, especially in more affordable segments. When comparing vehicles of similar size and from the same segment, an EV can cost anywhere from 10% to over 40% more than a similar gasoline-only model, according to CR's analysis. The typical total ownership savings over the life of most EVs ranges from $6,000 to $10,000, CR found. The exact margin of savings would depend on the price difference between the gas-powered and EV models that are being compared. Following are some points which shows us that how EV cars are cheaper to own than a comparable gas car. Fuel Savings The study shows that a typical EV owner who does most of their fueling at home can expect to save an average of $800 to $1,000 a year on fueling costs over an equivalent gasoline-powered car. Maintenance and Repair the study also found that maintenance and repair costs for EVs are significantly lower over the life of the vehicle, about half, than for gasoline-powered vehicles, which require regular fluid changes and are more mechanically complex. The average dollar savings over the lifetime of the vehicle is about $4,600. Depreciation CR's analysts also found that newer long-range EVs are holding their value as well as or better than their traditional gasoline-powered counterparts, as most new models now can be relied on to travel more than 200 miles on a single full charge. As with traditional gasoline-powered vehicles, not all EVs will lose value at the same rate as they age. class, features, and the reputation of the vehicle's manufacturer all have an impact on depreciation. Currently, EVs and plug-in hybrids account for less than 2% of overall new vehicle sales. Although that number has been on the rise since the first viable EV models began to appear on the market almost a decade ago. EVs have been forecasted to constitute anywhere from 8 to 25% of the new car market by 2030. This is all for today's video. Hope you enjoy the video. And please make sure you subscribe to EV Cars for all things EV all week.